So guys, the times that we're living in right now are truly amazing. You know, all of these different AI tools that are out there for us to use, you know, we're in a position where we can literally start up side hustles using a laptop and an internet connection. And I'm gonna walk you through one of the latest ways that you can do this, that I've been doing it myself over the past few months. Now, as we can see right here, I just wanna show you an example if I just jump into the laptop. On the surface, this looks like a super simple website where they're selling this one digital planner and you'll probably think landing on this website you know are they able to get traffic are they making money from it well that's the thing if i just copy the url of the store just like this and then go over to this tool and just paste the url in there just like that and then click on search instantly it's going to be able to show us you know a lot of useful information to let us know if a store like this is able to make any type of income and straight away we can see that they've got this one item listed for sale which is this digital product we can see the estimated sales and we can also see the estimated revenue in the last 30 days and this is the foundation of today's video i want to walk you through the steps that you need to know when it comes to building a digital planner that you can also sell on the internet yourself and i'm going to show you exactly how you can do it utilizing the power of artificial intelligence there's countless different digital products out there but in today's video i want to show you exactly how you can replicate a store just like this and by the way i'm going to be using hostinger's horizon tool when it comes to doing this you know it's a super simple tool that all you need to do is just enter a prompt into this box you know give it the details of what you're trying to make whether you're looking to make a landing page you know some type of web application a variety of different digital products you can use it but of course in today's video i'm going to be using it when it comes to building a digital planner so i'm going to come back to horizons in a moment and i'm going to walk you through the steps as to how it works but for those of you that might be scratching your head thinking sam i'm not really sure of exactly what type of digital planner i even want to make the way that you can figure that out is by using this quiz. This is a quiz that I created myself just to kind of make things a little bit more simplistic for those of you that are confused on the step-by-step -step process. So we're gonna fill it out together. There's only four different multiple choice questions. The first question is what type of digital product are you most interested in creating? Of course, we're gonna select digital planner, but there's all of these different options that you could choose from, spreadsheets, eBooks, educational guides and digital journals. So I'm gonna select digital planner, then I'm gonna click on next. Question two is what type of niche do you have knowledge in? Now it's very important that whatever type of digital product you're thinking about selling, you center around something that you've got knowledge in that you're kind of an expert in. You don't need to be Einstein when it comes to it, but just something that you've got more knowledge than a common person, because this is gonna help you when it comes to selling it a bit more effectively. So the one that I'm going to pick is going to be online business. I've been running online businesses now for the past 10 years, and I'm also in a position where I know that I'm gonna be able to sell a digital planner to online business owners because I know exactly what type of planner people are gonna be able to benefit from if they're running an online business. So I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna click on next. Question three is how do you want to sell your digital product? So I'm gonna say that I wanna sell it on my own website. And finally, how do you plan to promote it? Ideally, you wanna try and use all of these different traffic methods, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to click on SEO blog articles and then click on submit. Okay, perfect. So as we can see, it's now come back with this custom prompt with all of the different answers that I selected. So all you need to do from this point, if you're following along with what I'm doing, is just copy everything just like this. Then what you're going to do is open up the Google AI Studio. So I'm just going to paste the prompt in there just like that. And then I'm gonna click on run. And straight away, as you can see, it's now coming back with this custom plan for me to follow step by step, everything I need when it comes to being able to do this in the best way as a complete beginner. It's come back with the different brand names that I can choose from. It's also come back with, you know, all of the different prompts that I need, all of the different blog article titles, just the step by step business plan that's going to help me out. But of course, what we need to do from this point is focus on actually making the digital plan that we're working on which is going to be for online business owners so what i'm going to do is come over here to where it says prompt for hostinger horizons and all i'm going to do is just copy the prompt just like this and then go 
go back over to Horizons and I'm going to leave a link directly to them in the description. You can check it out. You know, it's super helpful. I've been using it for the past few months now and I've not really had any issues with it. But you're going to see how powerful it is right now because once I come back onto it just like this, I'm just going to paste the prompt in there just like that. You can read through it if you want. You can make adjustments to it. You may want to include your branding into it as well, but I'm just trying to give you guys the basics as to how this tool works when it comes to making a digital product. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And what I'm going to do is just click on enter. Okay, perfect. So Horizons has already started working on it. It's probably going to take around five minutes for it to complete. And the beauty of using this when it comes to building a digital product, when it comes to, you know, using it in all of the different ways that it works is that you can now update it, you can edit it, you can customize it. You're basically going to be able to enter all of the information that you want to enter into this box if you want to make any revisions. So I'm just going to wait for it to complete and then I'm going to be back in a moment and show you the first draft of what it was able to do. Okay guys, so I'm back and as you can clearly see on the screen, it's been able to do an amazing job at making this digital planner. Everything is interactive, you know, everything works as it should. And if I just expand it so that we can clearly see it on full screen, this is what the end user is going to see. This is basically an all-in-one planner for online business owners. You know, on the left-hand side over here, the end user is going to be able to click into the calendar, add a new entry, you know, insert all the details that they want to add. If they've got a new project that they're working on, they're going to be able to add a new task. Just everything that's going to be necessary when it comes to making this digital planner the best that it can be. It's also going to work on mobile phone as well. So it's going to be optimized for laptop mobile phone and this is something that doesn't exist on the internet anywhere and as i mentioned before the beauty of using horizons is that if you want to make any change whatsoever you can manually do it you know you could just click on this button you can change any of the text if you want to you know change specific wording across the digital planner you can do that but if you also wanted to enter a revision into this box you're going to be able to do it and it's going to be able to make those changes within a few minutes. And let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. So let's assume that I wanted to add my brand name to this digital planner, which is success with Ecom. So people are going to instantly know that it's from me or my company. I'm going to be able to do that by entering a prompt. I'm just going to say, add the brand name. And as you can see, this is the brand name put it at the top and make sure that it looks professional. You may want to give it a bit more information, you know, maybe tell it to not make it obstructive, maybe tell it that you want it to be in a specific place, but I'm just giving you guys the basic information as to what goes into all of this. So I'm just going to leave it as this and then click on enter. And as you can see, it's already gone straight to work to start making the change that I just laid out. Again, it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes for it to complete, but I'm going to leave it to do its thing and I'm going to be back straight away. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And as we can see, it was able to do that with no issues. So this looks perfect to me. You know, this is something that I would be happy to sell. I would recommend that if you are going to do this, you need to make sure that it works fully. You need to go through everything, you know, click on every single button, make sure that you're completely happy with it. But as an example, let's assume that I am happy with it and I'm ready to start selling it. What I could now do from here is click on publish from there horizons is going to make it active for people to start using and what it's going to do is that it's going to give you a custom link that you can use straight away or if you wanted to use your own custom domain you can do that as well but most of you right now are probably thinking sam i've been able to build my digital planner i'm completely happy with it and i know exactly who i'm going to sell it to but how exactly are people going to buy it from me well this is where hostingers ai website builder is going to come in the beauty of using this is that you're going to be able to get a website up and running without having to design it, without having to code anything. And it also comes with 0% transaction fees as well. So you're not going to have to pay any fees when it comes to all of the orders that you're going to get. And every single time that an order is made, the customer is going to instantly receive the link for them to be able to start using the digital planner straight away. So just to kind of show you how this works, if we just come over here to brand name, we're going to call it success 
success with ecom and when it comes to the description you can write it out yourself you know you can think of it you can structure it and just put it into this box over here but if you're someone that doesn't really know how to structure the prompt for it to know what type of website you're looking to build, you can just go back over to your custom business plan or digital business plan that you would have got from the Google AI Studio, ChatGPT, whichever one that you used. And there should be a section in here that's going to say prompt for Hostinger's AI website builder. So I'm just going to copy it like that. I'm going to go back over to Hostinger. I'm going to paste it in there just like this. And from there, I'm going to make sure that the online store has been selected. And all I need to do from here and what you need to do if you're following along is simply click on create a website. Okay, so the website seems to have been completed. This is the site over here. This is what it's going to look like. If I just click on preview, there's gonna be some changes that you need to make. You're gonna to have to go through it, make sure that you're completely happy with it. But this is the page that people are going to land on. And of course, from there, when they click into any one of these different links for any digital product that you make, they're gonna be able to instantly receive it. So if I just go back over to the editor, if I wanted to update this logo, because as you can see, it hasn't been able to format it properly, I could just select it just like this, click on replace image, and I could select this one. From here, as you can see, the logo has now been made. I could increase the size just like this, and that looks much better. I can also use Hostinger's AI logo maker as well if I wanted to, but I'm just trying to keep it simple for now. Another good thing about this AI website builder is all of the different AI tools that they have. So as you can see, they've got an AI blog generator, you can use their AI text writer, you know, all of these different things to make everything a lot more efficient. I would recommend that you use the AI blog writer because you're gonna be able to use that when it comes to getting people onto your site to turn them from a non-paying customer into a paying customer. And if you wanted to make any changes when it comes to the back end of your store, you're gonna be able to do that by clicking on manage store over here coming over here to where it says manage store you're just going to click on that once again and it's going to be over here where you're now going to be able to add your first product you know select digital product and input all of the information for the digital planner that you just built but yeah guys for the most part that's what goes into making a digital planner and being able to use ai in a number of different ways when it comes to making things a lot more smoother i'm going to leave all the information in the description down below when it comes to being able to use horizons you know being able to use it unlimitedly for whatever type of product whatever you're looking to make you're going to be able to use it and if you want to me to make an updated video breaking down some other interesting ways that you can use it too just put in the comments down below horizons and your location so that when I make that video, I'm going to be able to tailor it to your own specific situation. But if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, well, in this video, I break down some other AI tools that have been able to help out all of my students. And I'm sure if you're able to watch that video from start to finish, it's also going to help you out too. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.